Hello, I am Justin, Valorant's number one fan, even in 2024, and we have quite a few new things to talk about that are coming to the game today, as well as next week. And we're gonna jump right into it, like the video and subscribe, but today on Valorant, we got the VCT China capsules, and Brim got a slight buff, if you can call it that. The VCT China capsules are available right now, and you can go into the store and just get them. Here the new ones are on screen. This is all in preparation for VCT Shanghai that's coming very soon. As well, I know a lot of you were really frustrated about your crosshair codes being reset on your profile, and and they have fixed that glitch from being a thing. However, you are not going to get your old crosshair codes back and you're going to have to manually re-enter them, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is good that they did fix the glitch from happening. And I know why you're all here. There is a new bundle coming out into the game next week and it is called the Hollow Boku Collection. This is sadly a deluxe edition skin set. One upgraded, it is a variant. And that one variant that it has is called Deep Sea. The Hollow Boku Collection contains a Melee, a Vandal, a Bulldog, a Frenzy, and a Outlaw, which I was really excited about initially, but then I found out that there's no finisher or upgrades for this, so we still have yet to have a Premium Edition Outlaw skin in the game, sadly. One day we'll get it, hopefully with Neptune, but who knows if that'll even come out one day. Also, I almost forgot that there is a buddy that's included with this, and it changes color along with the variant of the item that you're using from this set, which is really great. And additionally, there is also a card that is included. Some more fun facts that it is worth noting about the Hollow Moku collection is that this is more of a Polynesian set. The word Hollow Moku means sailor, passenger, anyone who sails to sail, take a sail or ocean trip. And this is directly from the Hawaiian Dictionary. So all of you Polynesian people out there, rejoice because there's a little bit of representation with this, even if it is just a deluxe skin set. I think that this looks really cool, and I may very well just make a video on this when it does come out. Do subscribe and have notifications on for when that does happen. Some closing thoughts about the Holoboku set is that I really do wish that this had more to it. It's always sad when a deluxe skin set comes out, and I understand that these do have to exist for a certain reason, but I feel like it does a disservice to the set itself because something always has to get sort of gypped with this. Like the potential is always limitless with some of these collections that come out. And it's no different with Holoboku. This could have easily had finishers, sounds, and all that good stuff. And it could have had like a black and red variant, which would have been really cool. I don't know if any of you are wrestling fans out there, but there could have literally been a Bloodline variant and that would have been amazing. I think that this looks really great. I'm just bummed as I'm sure everybody is when this stuff doesn't have the upgrades that we know and love, but it doesn't take away from how cool this is on paper. Like I said, sadly, this stuff does have to exist and it's sort of a shame that they don't just condense this stuff to a battle pass or something like that, but what are you gonna do? But yeah, this has been an in-game review of all this stuff that has come out today, that is coming out next week in about eight days from now at the time of this video. Some more things that are coming a little bit beyond that in early June is going to be the new map that they're going to announce and have a big event for as they usually do and along with that nobody knows for sure but we are all collectively hoping that there is some sort of big balance change that comes with the new map that they announce and at a minimum that we get a change to the current map pool because it is just awful but i don't think that's enough i think that we need to set our standards a little bit higher we can't just expect them to put out just a new map and change the map pool to make it a little bit better we really need to hope that they actually add in some agent changes and buffs nerfs whatever you know just to sort of keep things on the up and up because these little changes like brim smoke being bigger is just not enough but what do you guys think of everything that we showcased today what do you guys think of the new set that's coming out next week leave your comments down below as always i'm justin and you're not like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for new and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single video ever i love you real ones will say it back